Welcome to the Tool Hut channel. Today we're going to be going over J2534 programming with Chrysler with the Ytech 2.0 system versus Ytech 2.0 with a MicroPod. Stand by. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, so let's do a quick comparison before we get started here. J2534 device, uh, the biggest advantage is its versatility. You can use it on several vehicles, not just Chrysler. You can do 2010 and newer, all modules. If you have an LSID, you can even do all of the, the skim resets until current models. I don't know that there's any restrictions on the newer vehicles. I don't think so. So the disadvantage is, is it is slow. It's slower than the MicroPod, and that's part of what I'm going to do today. And the subscriptions do cost more. Not substantially more, but they are more money. It is a little bit of a pain to get set up, uh, but once you got it set up, it's not that big a deal. So I'm not going to get into the subscriptions, how to set them up and all of that. I just wanted to do a comparison. So the advantage of the MicroPod is you can do all CAN vehicles, all the way back to the 2004 Durango. It's pretty fast. The subscriptions are cheaper. The disadvantage is you can only use it on Chrysler products, the Chrysler Fiat type stuff. So let's get going here. Uh, one more uh, disclaimer. I am going to be doing a speed comparison in this video between the J2534 and the MicroPod, and it is not it is not an apples to apples comparison, but I feel that you'll see enough going on that you'll understand the difference in the speed. It's not the same module. It is the uh, a TCM versus a PCM. So it should be pretty comparable in speed. All right, hold on a minute. Let's get her going. Okay, so what I did here was working on the 2012 Chrysler 200 and I took a timestamp from the video before I s s sped it up. So the time in the video that it started before started programming and this is after I've logged in, after I've bought my subscription, all that good stuff was 2 minutes and 57 seconds. Uh, at the end of the programming event, it was 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So it took approximately, it took less than 4 minutes for it to program. 3 minutes and 43 seconds for it to program. This is with the MicroPod. So this is the first comparison that I did. So let's get the J2534 device and we'll see where that takes us. Okay, so here's what we got. Working on a 2011 Jeep Compass Patriot. The timestamp when it started programming, again, not the download, not the sign on, not the anything else, was four minutes, 42 seconds into the video. I've obviously sped it up and made some changes since I started that. But just to get a reference, it's just a timestamp reference. Now, it goes through the process here. I was only allowed to speed it up a thousand percent. So, uh, kind of a restriction of my video editing software. So, it is programming just fine. I will tell you, it took a long time to program this car. When I did my first vehicle with J2534 Ytech 2.0, I really thought there was something wrong with the car. Uh, I had used MicroPod for so long, I was just blown away at how slow it was 
and I'd really never ran into a situation like that when programming a Chrysler with the Micropod. Even the Micropod 1, or Ytec 1, was not this slow. So, just so you understand, and I'm just going to let it go here, just let it do its thing. Again, it sped up a thousand percent, so 10 times actual speed is what it's doing right now. So, hopefully you understand. I did not do this video to, uh, to slam J2534 2.0 or Ytech 2.0, that was not the purpose of the video. The purpose of the video was for you to understand what you need to do when you're going to do J2534, because during this whole process, you need to maintain battery voltage. So if this takes twice as long, you need to maintain battery voltage for twice as long. I will also tell you that using it as a scan tool is comparable. So the the slowness seems to be on the programming side of it. It does not have the refresh rate that the Micropod does on the scanning, but it is comparable. I, I don't think it's so much slower that you can't do anything with it. But like I say, the, the big stipulation with this is you have to understand you have to maintain battery voltage the whole time here. So if you don't realize that, if you're used to use it a micropod or if you're used to seeing somebody use a micropod and you go to do it with j2534 there's a big difference so 34 minutes and 20 seconds is the timestamp on the video four minutes and 42 seconds is where it started so almost 30 minutes to program this module like i said in the beginning this was not an apples to apples comparison. This is a CVT, uh, just the TCM or CVT transmission, and the other was a PCM. They should have been comparable in size. I could not get a kilobyte download for either one of them, so I'm not 100% sure that they were comparable in size. I actually believe the TCM would have been a smaller file. So had I done it the other way, it obviously would have taken even longer if I'd have done done the PCM with the J2534. I've only used the J2534 a few times so and I am using uh, a Drew Kardec plus three for the for the uh, J2534 device if I didn't cover that already. All right hopefully you understand what I tried to accomplish in this video. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Questions, comments down below. Keep them clean or I delete them. Have a great day. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. All of the equipment that was used to make this video was is available on toolhutusa.com. We have a new website. Check it out, toolhutusa.com. Have a great day.